Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first impression updates and I did two first impressions videos showing you multiple products and I told you guys that I was going to do an update video so that is what I am doing today. A few things have been returned, some haven't that should be returned and then there are some things that I really do love that you've seen multiple times. So first I'm going to share with you guys the things that I did return and that are no longer in my possession anymore and the first thing is the Marc Jacobs cover stick in green and the reason why I returned that is because I did like the finish of it and I felt like it wasn't super green so it didn't give a green tint to your skin once you blended it in it just looked really natural and really did correct that redness which is the purpose of the product and I really did like that part of it the only thing I didn't like is I do have a larger pores and a lot of things tend to settle into my pores and unfortunately that did so I didn't feel like working with it anymore and I didn't like the way that it looked, you know, on my skin by itself or underneath foundation just because I could really tell it was like sunk into my pores. So that's why I returned it. If you do have a lot of redness on your skin but you don't really have that issue of large pores, you might really like that product because it did blend really easily and it did look so natural. It's the most natural green corrector that I have tried but personally it just didn't work for me. And then the last thing that I returned is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. I think we all knew <laughs> that I was going to return this concealer because First off, it did have great coverage, like, oh. but I'm telling you, it was just so thick and it made me extra oily and it was just gross. It did not last on my skin at all. It just did not work for me. If you have oily skin, I would not try it out personally. And if you have dry skin, I would say try it out, but just beware that it is very creamy. And I mean, it's that, that's a good thing that it's really nice and creamy, but... For me, it just did not settle on my skin well at all. It just, it looked bad, y'all. It looked real bad. It looked so good at first, and once you said it, it was great, but literally like two minutes later, it was a disaster. So, so the first one is this Algenist Reveal Concentrate Color Correcting Drops, and I like this idea. I like the idea of the dropper and mixing it with foundation or putting it on first, but I personally didn't notice a huge difference with this. This is another product that should be going back because I don't feel like I would get a lot of use out of it because it doesn't do what I want it to do. I feel like I've been having a lot of trouble with green correctors and trying to find the perfect one that I really love because unfortunately there has not been one that I've incorporated into my routine and that I have just been floored with. And if you guys are new to my channel and you don't know, I know I mention this a lot if you watch me, <laughs> but I do have rosacea. So a green corrector, if I could find the perfect one, would be huge for me and I would love that, but honestly I just have not found one that knocks some socks off yet so again this one is just not one of my favorites and I didn't even like it applied to directly to my skin and when I blended it in with foundation it did not counteract the redness like I wanted it to so did not like this that was pricey so I need to figure out how to return that one then the next thing I have in here is this soap and glory one heck of a blot primer I love this I love it I love it I think it's amazing this is a product that I have incorporated into my daily makeup routine. Even if I'm not going to apply makeup and I apply my primers, I will apply this just because it really minimizes the look of your pores and it controls your oil throughout the day. It's such a smooth primer. I love this. You could get it on Ulta.com. That's where I got mine. I did see Soap and Glory inside my Ulta the other day when I went in there, but I did not see the makeup stuff. So I'm not sure if they're going to bring this in store, but they definitely have it online. Since we're on the topic of Soap and Glory, I might as well just tell you about this one heck of a blot foundation that I also tried. And again, I love this. I love the line. I also have the powder from this line. And it is so good. If you have larger pores, I'm telling you, you will love this. The only thing that completely sucks about this foundation line is the color range. The color range is just not good. They need more colors. They really need to expand that line. I'm guessing they're just wanting to you know put it out on the market and see how it works but I'm just like this is so good you need more colors so hopefully they come out with more colors because I'm telling you if you have larger pores you would adore this and if you have oily skin this is your go-to if you can find your color definitely pick it up I have a few that I mix and match depending on how tan how not tan I am um, but I really really love this foundation I had a lot of questions asking me what I wore on my trip to Punta Cana and the foundation that I wore throughout the humid days and it was this one one and this held up so well. Moving on to the Benefit Erased Paste. I do like this. Again, this is a little too creamy for my skin. I feel like it just makes me a little too 
oily in certain areas. I just, it's just not my cup of tea, honestly. But this is a really great if you have really intense under eye circles. I have heard a lot of people with really bad under eye circles say that they love this and it lasts all day on them. There's just something about these pot concealers and pot correctors. If they're way too creamy for me, I just cannot work with them because they sit on my skin really weird because it's just so oily. But the one that I want to tell you guys that is really good that I have been trying, it's a little more on the drier side, but it's the NYX Dark Circle Corrector, and this is in light, and I really like this one. Again, it's a little bit more dry. It still is nice and creamy, but it's not as creamy as normal pot concealers, and I really like this one to correct, and then I'll put my Urban Decay concealer on top, and it's perfect, and it just looks so good throughout the day. The last green corrector I have here is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Okay, I love this line. I currently have the peach corrector underneath my eyes right now. Really love it, by the way. I haven't talked about it, but I really love it. And I used this in one of my videos, and a lot of people were saying it looked like it made my foundation have a green tint to it, but I really think that it was the color of the video because my foundation did not look green in person. My hair even looked a little green in that video. I tend to have a problem with the white balance if I have my windows closed and things like that. Um, but in person, my foundation didn't look green. I feel like this is a great corrector. I absolutely love the Naked Skin line from Urban Decay. It's beautiful. It is so hard for me to get away from the Naked Skin Concealer just because I think it's one of the best. and It looks so good on the skin. It doesn't sink into your pores, anything like that. But it is not something that I've incorporated into my daily routine, mainly because I feel like I can get away with not using this and just using a full coverage foundation which has been the soap and glory one heck of a blot. I cannot use this by itself and put this on and go out throughout the day because it's way too green. It has that really intense green pigment. I just wonder, I always use full coverage foundations. I do not like medium coverage foundations or anything like that just because I have I have a lot to cover. <laughs> so um, I don't know how this would act with a medium foundation or a light color foundation. I think it would probably show through with a green tint. But to me, this is not like a must have. This, obviously, you can tell I'm on the fence with this one because I do like it underneath my full coverage foundations, but it's just not, it's not like, wow, I love it. It's in my everyday routine, you know? Okay, the next thing is a blush. This is the Lorac Buildable Blush. I forget what color I tried, but it's the same line. This one's in the color Prism, and I love it. I love this line of blushes. I've used all of the ones that they sent me, and I think they're amazing. This packaging is the most sleek, beautiful packaging I have seen on a blush yet. I love that they have the color on the bottom, and you can see through the lid. I think this is just a great formula, a great line. I love it. I just saw that they came out with highlighters. I think they came out like yesterday, and I want to get my little paws on them, but I just haven't been able to yet, and they look beautiful. So can't wait to share those with you guys, but the blushes are definitely a hit. Go check them out. I saw a lot at Ulta, and they were just Oh my god, they're so beautiful. Last blush that I also love that is from NYX is the Ombre Blush. Oh gosh. This is like the most beautiful presentation of a blush I've ever seen. I love it. I love the color. It's just so warm and beautiful and golden. It didn't look like it there, but I promise you, there we go. It's just a gorgeous, golden, warm blush. I love it. I love, love, love this. I think it is beautiful. Now, if I'm sunburnt, I ain't gonna wear this because this has more of a warm undertone to it, so then it'll just make me look extra red. Like, if I'm the color I am now, this looks so beautiful. I mean, it does look beautiful with a really dark tan as well, but that's when I start to get a little bit more on the warm side. But if I have more of kind of like a yellow tone to my skin, I feel like this looks beautiful, and I just, I love it. I love this blush. I know that they have a few more shades, but this one was the one that I knew I would go to. This is the color Nude to Me. It blends out really well. It's very, very pigmented, and I feel like a little bit goes a long way, so you could have this forever. The only thing that I wish is that this top was clear so you could see it and see the beautifulness of the blush, but that doesn't break it for me. I think this is awesome. Okay, and then the last thing is actually what I mentioned in my March Hits and Misses, and it was in my Misses category. I feel like I had a lot of Misses. I had like a really kind of, I don't know if you call it balanced, but I had a lot of hits and a lot of misses um, with these first impression products. So this is the Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation in Medium Honey. The true test for this was when I was in Punta Cana, and Georgia gets really, really humid and really hot to the point where your girl does not want to wear makeup because I'm like, it's going to sweat off, my oily skin is just going to look disgusting, I don't want to do it. 
Punta Cana was a great test for a lot of these first impressions um, because it wasn't like that here in Georgia yet. This did not hold up well at all in the humidity and the heat on my oily skin. I don't know how it would be with dry skin, but for me, it was bad. But, like, when I was in the hotel room and I put this on, I loved the finish of it. I even asked Davis, I was like, do you like this? I feel like it looks really good. He really liked it. And it's just such a beautiful foundation once you put it on. But, man, when I went outside and I was getting hot and my oily skin, I could just, I could feel it coming through. If you have really oily skin, you know that feeling when you have foundation on and you feel like your oil is just kind of pushing through and like creating its own foundation that's how I felt and it didn't last really long on my skin at all and it just it just did not work for me unfortunately so maybe if you have more dry skin you would like this like I said in my hits and misses maybe in the winter time I could probably wear this since it'll be more you know of a dry climate but mm -mm. Mm -mm. Georgia would tell me heck no in like five seconds if I walked out of the house in this. Okay, so that is it for the first impression updates. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want me to continue these first impressions and the first impression updates. I think what I'll do is the same as what I did this time and film two different first impressions videos with a bunch of products. Keep trying them out and then a couple weeks later give you a full update and then just go like that with two videos then one update, two videos and one update. That way we have quite a bit of products to talk about and we could kind of knock these out you know what I'm saying because there's a lot of new makeup coming out and it is really hard to keep up so I've been loving the multiple first impressions and I'm glad you guys are too so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye